Hello there. God, this would be God no, dog. Yeah. This would be so much easier if I had a spinny chair. Come here. Up. Oh. Good boy. Let's talk about Faust. Faust is a tragic play in two parts, written by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Okay, so this play is about... Ooh, you're a dog. Okay, so this play is about Dr. Faust, who is a scientist disenchanted with his life. He meets the devil, who first comes to him in the form of a dog, and... Oh god, oh god, get out of here! Anyway, the devil comes to him, and uh, they make a deal. The devil, Mephistopheles, will show him worldly knowledge and pleasure, you know, in exchange for his soul. So Faust meets this girl, Marguerite, right? And um, he falls madly in love with her, and with the help of the devil, he starts bringing her gifts, you know, jewelry, all sorts of things to seduce her. And um, she takes an interest in him because she doesn't know any better. She's a young girl. He's handsome. Anyway, they start courting in secret. It's after their first meeting that Gretchen goes to her room and sits at her spinning wheel and just thinks about Faust, and it's the beginning of an obsession. Meine Ruhe ist hin, mein Herz ist schwer, ich finde sie nimmer und nimmer mehr. My peace is gone, my heart is heavy, and I will find it never, never more. Yikes! I mean, listen, I get it. Gretchen's a passionate person. I can be too. actually set it to music when he was just 17 years old. Gretchen am Schwinrade is set in a modified strophic form. This means it has three unequal strophes and contains several musical variants, let's say. Oh. This type of music was referred to as Lied, or in German, song. Um, typically at the time, Lieder was supposed to be sung by a single person who accompanied themselves on the piano. But with Schubert's setting of Gretchen am Spinrade, the accompaniment is a bit tricky. Okay, so Schubert does this really cool thing with the accompaniment where it just, it spins and sounds like, you know, Gretchen is at the spinning wheel, she's doing her thing. But as the verses uh, pick up in passion and obsession, the spinning wheel gets faster. There's even a 23 bar Accelerando that just sends Gretchen into a, a sort of ecstasy or, or fit, and it really symbolizes the sexual climax of the piece. Fun! Of course, after each verse, we return back to the main, meine Ruhe ist hin, mein Herz ist schwer, as Gretchen returns to the idea that she will never find peace again. And with that, we return to the tonic area between each stroke. This piece is very much a product of the early Romantic era in Germany. There was this resurgence and rekindled love of classics, this pan-Hellenic romanticism as people romanticized Greece. The Romantic era was very, very much about um, this indulgence of emotions. Actually, in Goethe's The Sorrows of Young Werther, the lead protagonist, Werther, writes I treat my heart like a sick child and gratify its every need. It was very much this, this idea that emotions were wild and passionate and deep. Goethe actually does a really great job combining Christian, medieval, Roman, Eastern, and Hellenic poetry, philosophy, and literature within Faust. Historian Kuno Frank puts it best. Romanticism in its early form was a caricature of classicism. It was individualism run mad. 
I think it makes perfect sense then that Schubert first chose to set Gretchen am Spinnrade over any other part of Faust. Goethe explored the desires, wants, emotions, obsessions of the individual, and Schubert only pushed them farther by setting Gretchen am Spinnrade to music. I'm sorry, I just really like Gretchen. It's a good piece. None of this was scripted. <laughs> Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, my favorite. Okay, you don't you don't have to like it. It's fine. <laughs>